sometimes in Dash Studio, we have this issue that we want to move accessories that are parented to the human figure. So they come with outfits, could be a hat, could be a bracelet, could be a necklace, something like that. And um, they can be either one of two things. They can either be smart props, could also be dumb props, but let's assume they're smart props, or they're actually rigged bits and pieces, which means they have the, co the complete rigging of the Genesis figure inside. So there's these two approaches, and I really prefer them to be as simple and dumb as possible, but some content creators and also some users prefer the other way. So we find ourselves with a mix of 50-50. I have a Genesis figure here, and it is basically doing that it has these it has two types of accessory parented to her so on one hand we have something like the glasses and if i go and select my glasses here right click and go select the office work glasses then in the scene hierarchy here you can see that these are this is a smart prop i can tell because it has this kind of cube icon here and it means that this is something that is not rigged it's a, basically like an obj that you bring if you import something that's just a figure a 3d model then this is what it looks like but it doesn't have any bones and it doesn't have any hierarchy that you can open and all that but the the good thing is that if I go and select them now, I see that my manipulator is kind of somewhere in the, well, in the immediate kind of, I'm just going to go take the hat off here. Um, I can see that the manipulator is kind of somewhere where the glasses are, kind of in the middle of the back here, and I can go and move it. So if I wanted the glasses to be a little bit further up, as I said, a little bit further up, I can do that, or I can go and rotate them a little bit. If she has, you know, if you put them on her on her head or something, I can I can make that happen, and you know that's that's fairly easy. But on rigged props, that is not always possible. So let me go and uh, make the glasses invisible, bring the hat back because the hat is a good example of a rigged prop. So the hat is kind of difficult. So first of all, if I go and select that, I can see that it has a different symbol. So my glasses had this symbol here, the, the, uh, the cube, but the hat looks like a regular figure. So it's got these three cubes together and it has a hierarchy. So we have everything from the hip to the pelvis to the lower abdomen, the upper abdomen. None of these things are really inside the hat. So the hat technically doesn't really need all that, but to make it follow the Genesis figure, it will, it, it will require it because there's this tool called the transfer utility that you know, lets you do that as a content creator. But the problem is now if I select the hat, uh, first of all, I don't see a manipulator here uh, by the hat. The manipulator is actually kind of further, very far at the bottom here. Uh, but the bigger issue is that I can't actually move it. So even if I would be happy to move my manipulator in places, I can't adjust the hat. Maybe I need to move it further up. Maybe she wants to have it on the side, a little bit slanted and whatever. And that doesn't really that doesn't really work with uh, rig props most of the time. I can still do things like scaling. So if I go and use the scale thing, then, you know, it turns into a massive hat, but it, I can't make an adjustment. And that is, you know, that's an issue. So there's a way to fix that. And I wanted to show you how to do it. So um, if ever you find yourself that you need to adjust it, you can go and select the item in question that is rigged and unmovable, head over to the parameters tab and you'll find something here on the left hand side that's called MISC. And in MISC we have these two different fit to modes. We have the redirect transforms, which is the default, and also we have the auto follow transforms. If you switch that over to auto follow transforms, then lo and behold, you can move the hat, which is awesome. So that'll certainly come in handy. But of course, the issue still is the manipulator is not in the correct place. So if you wanted to adjust the hat where it actually is, you can go ahead and do this on the rotational, tr uh, on the transform parameters here. You can just use these sliders to adjust it. So that is that is possible, but you can't really do it in situ. So if you go and uh, select the hat and then hit Control F, uh, you might want to just go and uh, adjust it here and that is not possible by default. So what we can do is move the manipulator into the correct spot. And I thought while I'm showing you one thing, I'll also show you that. I've explained this in a separate video, but just so that we're all on the same page here, the way to do this is to look at it. You can look at it from the perspective view, but I suggest you look at it through an orthographic view, like maybe the front view, something like that. Like, whoops, like, uh, like so, I just had it there, didn't I? <laughs> like so, just so that you know you're only moving this thing into one direction. And then you use your 
joint editor tool. That's this thing here, the little pencil icon with the bone sticking out. That's the one to choose. You can also get that under tools, joint editor, alt shift J, that'll do the same thing. And that'll now show you the whole bone hierarchy of essentially the hat with the hat selected. You can see the hat actually has arms and you know, it doesn't have legs, but it has arms and stuff. It doesn't really need one of those things. So with that uh, selected, with that tool selected, you drag the green little icon on from the bottom all the way up to where you think it should be. So it could be at the top of the hat, could be at the bottom of the hat, could be in the middle, absolutely personal preference. Leave the red thing alone. The red thing is, uh, is basically the other part of the, of the imaginary bone that we're adjusting here. And then switch back to the universal manipulator and there, boom, it's sorted. Now the thing is in the correct place. And you can move it anywhere you like. If you wanted to move it to, uh, slightly further forward or backwards, you can do that with the top view. But yeah, now you can go and adjust your accessory. And it's true for all kinds of other things. So if you have glasses that uh, that are rigged and you want them to be uh, you want them to be slightly different, you can you can do that. Also don't forget while you're adjusting this with the universal manipulator, if you head over to tool settings and switch this from your local coordinates to the world coordinates, you will see that the manipulator's position is changing. So like in my case, from here to there, and that makes adjustments all the more easy. So if you ever uh, needed to like move the head, like rotate the head and it was on local, and now you want the whole head to move forward, that is how you do that. There you go, another DAS quick tip. I hope this comes in handy when it comes to adjusting rigged accessories.